You know, there have been so many Nintendo Switch Pro rumors and leaks up until now, the fact that something was found on the Nintendo Switch firmware itself, it's not really too surprising to me. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited. Hey guys, it's Rob here and welcome back to the Robo Chan Show where we cover the latest gaming news, leaks, and rumors from Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo in 2020 and beyond. If you want to be kept up on the latest gaming news, make sure you click that red subscribe button below this video and that notification bell so you know when I upload. And if you're interested, I have a Patreon, which link to that will be in the pinned comment along with my Twitter account. In this video, we're going to go over some new Nintendo Switch leaks that come directly from the Nintendo Switch firmware, what it means for the current Nintendo Switch, and even when the Switch Pro or Switch Revision could happen. So the Nintendo Switch Pro has been rumored for a pretty long time now. Rumors that actually have a lot of things in common in what was found in the Nintendo Switch firmware. So I'll be lightly touching on some of those more interesting and notable Nintendo Switch Pro rumors as well, because they do have to do with what was found in the firmware. Nintendo Switch Pro rumors like the one that says it's coming out in Q1 of 2021, which is actually right now. Which this firmware finding in that rumor makes you wonder if that rumor was actually true. I myself still have doubts on that, but the timing is something that makes you think. Then of course you have the rumors about Nintendo asking developers to make their Nintendo Switch games 4K ready. Which, even though it's a rumor, it gets me really excited to see what Nintendo would do with the extra horsepower. And of course you have the 4K Nintendo Switch rumors and the ones where Nintendo is visiting manufacturers of 4K screens. And this news finding, in my opinion is very huge because it doesn't come from any form of usual Nintendo Switch leaks or Nintendo Switch Pro rumors that you usually see, but from the actual Switch's firmware found by Skyers M, a data miner and hacker who according to WCCF Tech is well known. He recently discovered a new Nintendo Switch revision within the Nintendo Switch code which he reported on Reset Era with a ton of details on his findings, which we'll read right now to you guys and then we'll discuss what he found. Nintendo actually is working on a new model with upgraded display and has been for one 1.5 to 2 years. I personally believe it's 4K given the signs I'm seeing in the Switch's firmware, but that's not confirmed yet and could be wrong. The new hardware is codenamed Aula. It's using the Moriko SoC. There's a bunch of references to it in its code. Atmosphere supports the new display already in theory. The tablet itself definitely has an upgraded display. I don't know if it's 4K. Aula has firmware support with some real tech chip that advertises itself as 4K UHD Multimedia SoC too. Hence my belief it's 4K. That chip might be inside the new dock and not inside the tablet though, there's no way to tell from the firmware code yet. Aula explicitly supports handheld mode, it is not docked only, that's Kelsio, which seems like it's for internal slash only never releasing since Kelsio has no game card slot and no battery. Mariko has substantially better cooling and battery life, it's a bona fide die shrink over the original generation. But yeah, I speculate games will be like the DSi enhanced games were, or like how some games benefit from PS4 Pro despite working on PS4. So this is pretty big news for the Nintendo Switch if this is true and it would implicate some huge things not only for the Nintendo Switch first party titles, but the third party titles too. Whatever you think about third party games, you have to admit some of them do not look the best and sometimes they don't run the best. Despite some Nintendo Switch ports looking incredible by the way, for the Nintendo Switch of course. I honestly still can't believe they got Witcher 3 to run on the Nintendo Switch plus Doom Eternal and Doom, and of course not to mention other third party games. But with the Switch Pro, it could bump the resolution and frame rate up enough. Now whether the games will be 4K themselves or say 1080p, 60 FPS or just a higher resolution and frame rate or what have you, we don't really know. Because keep in mind, just because it says 4K doesn't mean the games themselves will be 4K. The 4K could be for streaming services or games that are being streamed like Hitman and Resident Evil 7. That being said, it is rumored that Nintendo is telling its partners to get their games 4K ready, so keep that in the back of your mind going forward. And again, it's a rumor, so it's not a fact right now. Now he does mention the DSi enhanced games or if you're a PlayStation owner like me, I guess, the PS4 games that work on the PS4. Pro, which this was part of his speculation, so keep that part in mind too. Now from what I understand, older Switch games could get a boost out of this if this speculation is right. Almost like a boost mode that the Series X has, or the PS4 Pro, or the PS5 has. The newest Nintendo Switch game, Age of Calamity, is a very good example of a game needing this. The game itself is fantastic, don't get me wrong, but the resolution and frame rate can be incredibly poor when playing it. Another thing to keep in mind is that most likely this chip that's going to be able to do 4K is probably going to be in the dock itself 
itself and not the handheld. So when you take it out of the dock, you can expect some kind of decrease in power like you do with the regular Nintendo Switch. But I think with the smaller screen and the better screen too, I think it'll look better anyways. And of course, whatever resolution and frame rate enhancements we get along with the new Nintendo Switch hardware. So the next question you have to ask is when is this coming out? Well, if Nintendo has been working on the Switch Pro from 1.5 to 2 years, that would predate the virus, along with all the problems that the virus caused for Nintendo. So even though it's rumored for Q1, which I could see happening if the virus wasn't here, I wouldn't be surprised if there was some kind of delay or push for it. And when I say delay, I mean in the eyes of Nintendo, because we don't know if this is real, but if we're going off past rumors and leaks for Nintendo Switch Lite, I think we have a similar situation here. A bunch of rumors and leaks appear over and over and over again, and even at one point a shell appeared of the Nintendo Switch Lite, which that's actually kind of crazy. And this was well before the Nintendo Switch Lite was even out or anything. Now, if Nintendo does go that route of the DSi enhanced games type for the Nintendo Switch, this brings up a very important question. What's going to happen to the pre-existing users on the OG and Lite Switch? If they go the route of the new 3DS, will there be games that only work on the Switch Pro or the new 3DS, which honestly I wouldn't be surprised if that's what they call it. Now, most likely, by the way, the findings in the Switch code, it's looking like that could come true, but I think it's not as big of a deal as people are making out to seem when they think about that. I don't think every Nintendo Switch game is going to be locked behind the Switch Pro. I think it's going to be similar to the 3DS where it was only a couple Nintendo Switch games, and the mass majority of Nintendo 3DS games that were released were playable across all models of the 3DS. Yes, the Switch Pro obviously is going to run better and look better than the previous models, but I think that's going to be the case if this does happen and if this is even real, because this could not be real. The Nintendo Switch is still selling massively well, and a lot of people just got a new Nintendo Switch, so I don't think Nintendo would bring out a new Switch Pro and lock away that many players. It wouldn't just be a bad consumer decision, it would be a bad financial decision for Nintendo. There's a reason why Cyberpunk kept the PS4 and Xbox One versions of that game. It's because there was a ton of money to be made on that install base, despite them lying about it, but that's not what this video is about. That being said, I think the Nintendo Switch Pro is needed with the current gaming landscape changing and next-gen starting. Nintendo needs third-party support on the Nintendo Switch, even though first-party titles like Breath of the Wild 2 and Metroid Prime 4 and other games like Bayonetta 3 and No More Heroes 3 will be huge selling points aside from games already on the Nintendo Switch, third-party games must be there on the Switch. And if it can't run any of these new games or the quality of the games are even worse than what we had in Age Calamity, we could see Nintendo end up in a N64 slash Wii U situation. A situation where, because of the console's form factor or how it's made or the power of the console, the third-party support is either not there or it's largely lacking. Or in the case of the Wii U, which did have a lot of bad third-party support, the quality just wasn't there. So a Switch Pro with extra power would be the wisest thing to keep the third-party support going and just an overall easier platform to develop for. Because remember, one of the big things for Nintendo when it comes to the relationship with devs is making an easy platform for them to develop on. That was one of the big things for the Switch. When Nintendo went around asking what they want from the Switch, that was one of the main things. Something that was surely affected by the Wii U. If anyone remembers the Wii U drought well, they were pretty dark times. I don't think Nintendo wants that for the Nintendo Switch with how massively well it's selling. And of course, on top of that with the Switch Pro and all the new games that are coming out like Metroid Prime 4 and Breath of the Wild 2, it's going to sell even more. Honestly, the Switch brand is going to grow even larger. Overall, there is yet another Nintendo Switch Pro rumor slash leak, but this one is a bit more exciting than the other ones because it's coming from the Nintendo Switch firmware. But these are just my overall thoughts and opinions and speculation. What do you guys think about this? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button and of course the like button because it helps the video. Thanks for watching guys and as always stay safe, stay charged, and have a good one.